We're here with Jenny Anton Antonsson from the from Falun City Council, and you are the democracy navigator of of, uh, of the commune of Falun. Could you explain what that entails? Yes. Um, so uh, so I have I have two parts in my job. One part is to talk to our citizens and to help them, um, well, navigate them, to help them with um, how to be more active, how to be able to be, be active in their society and how to participate and have influ like influence their, um, the council in different ways. So, so help them with all that they need, who to talk to or um, how to write a proposal for the council or things like that. So, so I do. I have direct contact with people, and also I'm out working with our organizations, as associations, and um, uh, like civic engagement groups, um, and and t talking to them and telling them about what what is possible to do if you want to change things. But also, I'm working with our organization and, and working more strategically on how to how to make the organization. Um, better for for this kind of work and how we can how we can uh, reach out to our citizens. And so, what are some concrete ways that um, citizens in Falun can use to to participate uh, in in civil life? Um, well, there are there are several ways, but but what we have, what many community um, many cities in, in Sweden have, is a way that you can write. Um, it's called a citizen proposal. Uh, so that's a very specific kind of um, idea that you pitch for the council, and that will that will um, uh, you will have you you can you can give it to the council, and they have to take a decision on it. They have to decide yes or no, uh, but it won't disappear somewhere. You know, you hand it in to someone, and then it will just yeah get lost. So, so this is actually a, a way of you know that you will reach the the highest level of politicians um, in your municipality. Um, would you have any examples of um, of citizens' initiative that have worked particularly well here in Falun? Yeah, yeah, we have a few. Um, uh, unfortunately, most of them are rejected uh, because either they come in too late in the process of something, uh, or it's just not possible economically to. Uh, to do it, but but they also even if it's rejected, then you can still you know inspire our politicians, and you can maybe that's something that they will save and, and do later in another way or in their way. But yeah, we have a few examples. We have uh, playgrounds, we have a, a skate like a skateboard park uh, for for our youth, um, and we have um, areas where you can take your dog in within the, in the city to you know to um, to walk your dog, um, so very, very like small things, um, but things that are important to our citizens. Uh, but these these proposals are also about bigger issues as well. But it's just that most people are not, most people don't think in in the big wider picture, but actually think about what do I need today here right now, uh, what's important to me in my area, um, and that's also something that I talk about, like. You don't always have to think about the small things. You can also think bigger. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's about what people feel is important to them. That's what we're working with. Like, and we know that that is mostly what is closest to you. I mean, your streets and where you live and where your children go to school and things like that. So yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.